Hi, uh, I'm Yasmin and I develop STEM resources at the Royal Academy of Engineering. And I'm Gemma, I'm a medical physicist from UCL Engineering. And we're really pleased to be sharing with you guys um, a fantastic resource that brings together engineering, biology and physics um, and medicine um, for students in upper primary and lower secondary. So the resource is in a student guide form and then there's also a teacher guide with all the answers to the questions in the student guide. The resource is available to download for free on the STEM resource website, on the UCL Metabolite page, and also available if a uh, hard copy if you join one of our Connecting STEM Teacher program, which is also a fantastic way to meet other STEM teachers in your local area. So Lightsaver is inspired by our work in the Medical Physics and Biomedical Engineering Department at UCL. We develop light-based techniques to monitor the brain in hospitals. Essentially what we do is we shine light into the brain and we detect the light that comes back out and from that we can find out a little bit about what's going on inside the body and use that information to tell doctors how their patient's doing. So in this first section, what is light? We introduce the concept of light, how it transfers energy. Uh, we introduce the electromagnetic spectrum and the different wavelengths that light can come in. And as students will be looking at really small numbers as part of this resource, uh, we wanted to introduce an activity that um, gave them an understanding of what these really small numbers look like and how they compare to numbers that they're more familiar with. Uh, so we've included an activity which looks at the powers of 10, uh, which asks them just to spot patterns, but hopefully through that can see the difference between what uh, 10,000 looks like compared to 0 0.001, for instance. As well as the Powers of Ten activity, we've included a link to a fantastic interactive tool called the Scale of the Universe. Students can use this to compare the size of different objects to each other, but also to microwaves, infrared waves, radio waves, so they can get a real idea of what th these different sizes actually mean. And because in this resource we're focusing on visible and infrared light, these are all measured in nanometers. So on page five, we're talking about what a nanometer is and how it relates to objects in real life. So for example, we've got here some objects you might find in the classroom and we can measure them. So this uh, pencil sharpener is 2.4 centimeters and then we can convert that into nanometers. So that's 24 million nanometers. So hopefully that will give them an idea of the scales that we're talking about. And to download a copy of the Lightsaver resource, including the teacher guide, student guide and the case studies, you'll find all of this on the Royal Academy of Engineering STEM Resource Hub, um, in addition to links to UCL Engineering and to the Metabolite Project.